The plunger rod is part of your grease gun's barrel assembly. The rubber sill is attached to it, which pushes the grease into the pump. The most common issue with the plunger rod is it becomes accidentally bent. Replacing the plunger rod is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the barrel assembly. Now I can disassemble the barrel assembly. I'll remove the cap from the barrel. Now I can remove the self-locking retaining ring. I'll use a pair of pliers to pull it off of the shaft. This retaining ring will need to be replaced each time you remove it. Now I can remove the split retaining ring. Once it's removed, the rest of the assembly will want to come apart. So you want to be careful of that because of the spring tension. Now I can replace the plunger rod. I'll remove the old one from the cap and install the new. Now I can reassemble. The first thing I'm going to do is place the retaining ring onto my retaining ring pliers so it's ready to go when I have everything set and under spring tension. I'll place the spring over the rod and against the cap. Now I'll compress the spring and install the stamping plate. The flanges on the stamping plate should face down. Now place the rubber seal onto the shaft and the flat washer. And I'll re-secure everything with the split retaining ring. To finish up, I'll install a new self-locking retaining ring. I've placed a socket over the retaining ring, and I'll use a mallet to tap it into place. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the barrel. And that's how easy it is to replace the plunger rod in your grease gun. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.